Welcome to the oil burning version of the 10th generation Honda Civic. This new 1.6 liter, 4 cylinder diesel joins the petrol powered 1.0 liter and 1.5 liter variants that were launched last year, as well as the barnstorming Type R, all of which we're already particularly fond of. The new diesel, which we've been driving on the shockingly battered streets of Rome, gains the same extensive updates that were introduced on the petrol models. Honda pulled out all the stops when it came to designing this car, dedicating a third of its research and development resources to the project. In fact, it's the product of the single largest development program in the company's history. There's a new platform, a revised suspension setup that comprises McPherson struts up front and a multi-link rear axle at the back, as well as a stiffened unibody and a lowered center of gravity. All of these changes, Honda says, have been implemented to lend the Civic a more agile and engaging driving experience. The 1.6-liter iTech engine has also been revised. New forged steel pistons replace the aluminium jobbies found in earlier incarnations of this power plant and help to reduce friction and cooling loss within the block. A new turbocharger offers reduced lag as well as improved low to mid-range pull. Its 221 pounds foot of torque is available from 2000 revolutions per minute, while peak power, all 118 bhp of it, is reached at 4000 revolutions per minute. The key stats for this car, however, are its economy figures. Honda claims that the Civic Diesel will manage 80.1 miles per gallon on the combined cycle, with CO2 emissions from 93 grams/km.